Hello and welcome to our daily devotion from Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Pastor Adam Moline. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Amen. Today we're going to continue our look at the life of King David and find how it is fulfilled in our Lord Jesus Christ. As we do so today, we'll begin with reading the book of 2 Samuel chapter 8. After this, David defeated the Philistines and subdued them. And David took Metheg Am Ma out of the hand of the Philistines. And he defeated Moab, and he measured them with a line, making them lie down on the ground. Two lines he measured to be put to death, and one full line to be spared. And the Moabites became servants to David and brought tribute. David also defeated Hadezer, the son of Rehob, king of Zobah, as he went out to restore his power at the river Euphrates. And David took from him 1,700 horsemen and 20,000 foot soldiers. And David hamstrung all the chariot horses, but left enough for a hundred chariots. And when the Syrians of Damascus came to help Hadadezer, king of Zobah, David struck down 22,000 men of the Syrians. Then David put garrisons of Aram of Damascus, and the Syrians became servants to David and brought tribute. And the Lord gave victory to David wherever he went. And David took the shields of gold that were carried by the servants of Hadadezer and brought them to Jerusalem. And from Beta and from Berotai, cities of Hadadezer, King David took very much bronze. When Toy, the king of Hamath, heard that David had defeated the whole army of Hadadezer, Toy sent his son Joram to King David to ask about his health and to bless him because he had fought against Hadadezer and defeated him. For Hadadezer had often been at war with Toy. And Joram brought with him articles of silver, of gold, and of bronze. These also King David dedicated to the Lord, together with the silver and gold that he had dedicated from all the nations that he subdued, from Edom, Moab, the Ammonites, the Philistines, Amalek, and from the spoils of Hadad-Ezer, the son of Rehob, king of Zobah. And David made a name for himself when he returned from striking down 18,000 Edomites in the Valley of Salt. Then he put garrisons in Edom. Throughout all Edom he put garrisons, and all the Edomites became David's servants. And the Lord gave victory to David wherever he went. So David reigned over all Israel, and David administered justice and equity to all his people. Joab, the son of Zeruiah, was over the army, and Jehoshaphat, the son of Ahilud, was recorder, and Zadok, the son of Ahitub, and Ahimelech, the son of Abiathar, were priests. And Sariah was secretary. And Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, was over the Cherethites and the Pelethites, and David's sons were priests. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. David is victorious. All of his enemies stand defeated. For the very first time since they had left Egypt, the land of Israel is united in one nation. All the lands that God had promised to the people of Israel, from the river Euphrates to the sea on the west to the Dead Sea in the south, all of that land finally was devoid of enemies. Sure, they still lived there, but they had been defeated. One third was all that was left of the army of Moab. 22,000 of the army of Hadadezer of Rehob was destroyed. Horses that could have been used in battle against the people of Israel had the tendons in their legs cut so that they would not be able to fight against Israel. David was victorious over all 
He was recognized as a powerful ruler. He was becoming rich, dedicating the gold and the silver and the bronze to use in God's own house. David was victorious. I think it's easy to see then how that idea is fulfilled in our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, we just heard not long ago that Jesus had been arrested, mocked, spat upon, lied against, whipped and beaten, nailed to a cross, killed, pierced with a spear, and laid dead in a tomb. But Jesus was victorious as well. Jesus as he laid dying, said, It is finished. Jesus, as he conquered, destroyed the head of Satan, crushing it with his nail-pierced heel. Jesus is victorious. He is the Lord who wins. Who is subdued? Well, sin, death, and the devil, they all are defeated. They stand powerless, not just against Jesus, but against all of you and me, those who belong to Jesus. They cannot claim us as their own. They cannot defeat us any longer. They cannot even hardly attack us. Sure, it seems like they can, but what can they do to you, dear Christian? Your end is in Christ. Your end is victory. Your end is peace and life, world without end, face to face with Jesus, your King. He is victorious. You share in his victory. You ride in with him into his established kingdom where people from all languages and tribes and nations are gathered together before the Lamb in his kingdom to serve him day and night in his temple. The Lord will wipe every tear from your eyes. You will hunger no more, neither thirst any more. The sun shall not beat down upon you nor any scorching heat. For Christ the Lamb is victorious. He is your king, your enemies are destroyed. For Christ is risen, he is risen indeed. Alleluia. Amen.